What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, I'm out here at our facility. This is Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. And, of course, we're on Lake Hickory. And if you can't tell, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's a nice, calm day. We've actually got really good views right now. Sun's out. And there's nobody really here on the lake which means we're going to have pristine conditions to go down with open water students here shortly and take them down to do their dives but in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some tips and techniques that i used to do as an instructor when i trained in say heavier currents or when i trained where there wasn't a bottom and if you look out here that orange ball actually marks one of our training platforms where we can get students down on them, we can do their skill sets, and then we can take them around our playground area. But what do instructors do if you're, say, in a very heavy current, or you don't have something for the students to kind of hover over to do their skills, or maybe you even have that student who has ear trouble and is having trouble equalizing on the way down. So let me show you a cool little tip and trick if you're an instructor that you can do with your students to help them out along the way. All right, guys, this is a great little hands-free technique that you can do if you're an instructor to help your students ascend and descend, especially if you're dealing with students, say, in a very heavy current, or if you're dealing with students where you're at a depth that there's really nothing for them to hover over to do their skills. It's simply called the instructor leg wrap. You wrap your leg around the line. As you flatten your foot, you're going to be locked into place. If you drop your foot, of course, you can ascend and descend. Now, you can do this with a rope in front of you or behind you both methods will work great the cool thing i like about this if i'm dealing with a student who's having a lot of trouble with their ears i can lock off into the line be hands-free to actually assist that student and then as they get their ears cleared we can simply descend on down the rope by simply just dropping my foot if i need to swim back up i can just simply kick with the other leg and i can guide myself right back up the rope once i've reached the depth to do skills i simply lock off and then i can assist them with their neutral buoyancy so there you go guys, that's called the leg wrap. This is something I used to do back in the 90s and early 2000s when I was teaching students. And it works great if you're in a heavy current or if you're in an area where there is no bottom, maybe you're in extremely deep water and you're needing to stay around that 20, 30 foot mark and have your students hover. And even if you're dealing with a current, this is a good way that you can lock yourself into the line, still control that student and everybody be safe. You guys, I really hope you liked this instructor tip. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it. To all new instructors or even seasoned instructors, if you would like to see more videos on topics like this and how you can be a better instructor or a more efficient instructor, drop me a comment down below and I'll be glad to make you an entire series on just short little uh, instructor tips to help you out along the way. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.